Hi everyone and congratulations to the owners of labuzas.fr who have won this month's Ranking Academy's amazing free website audit. What do you mean it's not an amazing prize? Within a few minutes, you will discover where the owners of this charming French B&B are going wrong and what they need to do if they want to grow their clientele on time for the summer season. I'll show you amazing. The audit assesses six key areas which are crucial for online success if you're a small business owner. They include Google My Business Profile and Business Citations, also links, site content, online reviews and finally social media profiles. But the audit wouldn't be complete without taking into consideration competition and includes comparison with two key competitors. And this is really useful as it gives us a precise idea as to what we need to do if we want to be ahead of them. So let's start with having a look at the website content. The very first thing I am going to check is whether or not labuzas.fr is responsive, meaning does the site display well on a mobile phone or a tablet? This is key since 50% of web users these days use a mobile device. This number is even greater for local searches, so let's have a look. Let's go to mobiletest.me and do a search for Labazas on an iPhone 5, for example. Conclusion? It clearly isn't. Google pays a lot more attention to mobile friendliness and has incorporated this as a signal in their ranking formula. Not being mobile friendly will cost you in the long run as you will be penalized by Google and people who visit your site will quickly bounce out of it. Go responsive. Let's move on to the content starting with the home page. The home page of any site is the most important page. That's what Google will see first and that's where most links will point to. Labazas.fr homepage has three major flaws. One, there is hardly any content for Google to see apart from two images. You should have at least around 500 words on any given page, let alone your home page. Two, there seems to be content available in English and in French. This is a big no-no. You shouldn't mix languages on the same page as it is confusing for search engines. If you are targeting different markets, you will need a specific site per market. Three, the title of the page, which is a key signal for search engines, says Accueil, which translates to welcome in English. And that's it. There isn't any keyword in there, not even the name of the business. Conclusion, nothing on the homepage of labuzas.fr indicates to Google what this site is about, what business this is, or even what they are called. This is pretty bad altogether. On the plus side, there is major room for improvement. Let's dig a bit deeper into the English version, for instance. Let's pretend we are the Google robot, or crawler as it's called, and visit labuzas.fr. In order to do this, I have installed on my browser a little tool that helps me mimic what the Google crawler will see. The result, as you can see, is pretty abysmal. There is literally no content available for Google to crawl apart from a navigation bar which gives a very slight hint as to what this site may be about, with a link called Room. All other links are very obscure with no keywords in place. Clicking on the option description reveals a page where I can finally find some content, but it's very thin indeed. And once again, there is no use of any relevant keywords in key places like the titles of pages or even the content itself. Going through each and every one of these pages reveals a cruel lack of essential signals for any search engine to be able to rank this site for terms that could be highly relevant like VNB in France or guest room in France, etc. The outcome of the full content audit revealed that there were zero keywords in any of the title, on any page, content or images, meaning that it will be literally impossible for Labazas to appear in Google. Your content is the most important part of all the signals you can send to Google. If you need to get one thing implemented correctly, this is it. Here, Labazas is way off the mark. Let's now have a look at the second most important area, links signals. Links are essential in order to determine the importance of a site. An easy way to understand how it works 
is by comparing links to a voting system. For one link pointing to your site, you have one vote. Each vote, however, carries a different weight. A link from, let's say, BBC Travel pointing to my site will carry a lot more weight than the link from my neighbor's blog. In the end, whoever has the most quality votes is likely to be elected to the number one spot in Google. Simple. As mentioned earlier, the links available on La Buzaz site itself do not use any relevant keywords. Internal links play a part in helping Google understand what your pages are about, so why not implement them when you can? Internal links are not, however, as important as, as external links. External links is where the true benefits lie. Let's have a look at the results of our external linking audit and what it reveals. The domain authority, or domain importance if you prefer, of La Buzaz is weaker than its competitors. 15 versus 19. These are scores out of 100. The scoring is based on the number and quality of links pointing to each site. This result means that Labazas is likely to be behind its competitors in search engines results as they have less importance. Labazas would clearly benefit from gathering more links in order to outplay its competitors. This shouldn't be too hard as the gap between them is pretty narrow. Let's now look at another key area, business citations. Citations are a very important aspect to the online success of a local business. A citation is a mention of your business name, your address and your phone number somewhere on the web. They are generally found in key directories such as the Yellow Pages, Yelp, Thomson Local Directory, etc. Citations help search engines validate that a business is who we think it is. The business information provided needs to be exact and identical everywhere it is mentioned. Let's have a look at what the audit shows. The citation profile of Labazas is not great and shows only a 44% completion rate. This is based on 22 major directories I have identified as being key for citations. Labazas is only mentioned in 11 out of the 22, so surely the completion score should be 50%, right? Wrong. This is because the business information for Labazas in some of those directories is inconsistent, bringing the total to only 44%. Fortunately, the audit also revealed that the citation profile for both competitors was poor, meaning Labazas could get an edge on its competitors if it was corrected. Let's now move on to our next area, customer reviews. Customer reviews are another key factor for local online visibility. Why? because they will help you rank better in search engines, they will encourage people to click on your site in search engines, and they will influence your customers' decisions. Let's have a look at the outcome of the customer reviews audit for our winner. The review profile for Labazas is pretty straightforward. Number of customer reviews in Google, nil point. Number of customer reviews in Yelp, nil point. Number of customer reviews in TripAdvisor, 21 points. Not great, since TripAdvisor will not really influence Google's results. Furthermore, one of the competitors does have reviews in Google and Yelp, meaning they will have an edge. There is a twist, however, in this story. It seems that the competitor in question has collected a number of negative reviews. This means there is a fair amount of people who are not satisfied with the service they provide. Looking at the reviews posted for Labazas and TripAdvisor, shows a very high level of satisfied customers with a score of 4.5 out of 5. Getting similar reviews in Google and Yelp would help their visibility a great deal, not to mention that they would annihilate their competitors. They would need around 1.5 times more reviews in Google to outclass their direct competitor. In this instance, that means 5 reviews in Google would suffice. Surely that's easily achievable. Next area, social media. Small business owners tend to struggle with managing and maintaining a website, let alone multiple social media streams. There is, however, a disproportionate amount of effort and budget invested in social media from small business owners as they feel it will bring them a lot of business. I'd say less is best. Focus on your site first and foremost. And if you have any spare time and cash, you might want to consider investing in other platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, etc. Having said that, social media play a part in the overall visibility of your site and are not to be ignored. 
let's have a look at Labuzas's profile. Labuzas does indeed have a Facebook account. Unfortunately, it doesn't look very well maintained. Only one post in 2016, which looks less than engaging, and two posts in 2015. There is no check-in either, which is a real shame for a BNB. There is no post in Google Plus either, and no presence on YouTube or Instagram. As I said, I do not suggest to be present on all of the above, but if you have a Facebook account, then you might want to post a little bit more than twice a year, as it will help too. Each business will be different, and some social media platforms are more useful than others. It's up to the business owner to see what is likely to be the most suitable solution for the business needs. Finally, let's have a look at our last but not least item of the audit, Google My Business. Google My Business has been created specifically by Google for small businesses. Having a Google My Business profile is an essential weapon to have in your arsenal. You must fill it in correctly as it will be used in many places across the web. It is also the opportunity to showcase your business with some really inspirational imagery and description and encourage potential customers to get in touch. Let's have a look at what the audit revealed. Labazas' Google My Business account is 80.9% complete. This is simply due to the fact that some images are missing in a few categories and in some of the categories there is none at all. Other than that, it's a pretty complete profile. Let's have a look. The imagery used looks slightly amateurish. The difference between a set of professional looking imagery and pictures you take yourself will greatly influence the opinion people make of your business. You shouldn't judge a book on its cover, but when you only have the cover to look at... Anyway, in this case, I feel it would be worth investing a little bit of money in a professional photographer in order to get some really inspiring photography, which will help convince potential clients that Labazas is a great place to stay, which I'm sure it is. These images could be reused on the site, which would be consistent with a Google My Business profile and even on social media, so it's a worthy investment. Completing the missing category with relevant imagery would bring the completion of the profile to 100%, helping further with visibility. Phew! All done! So does it look bleak for labuzas.fr? Not at all. I feel confident they could largely improve their online visibility by implementing the recommendations I've just made most of which are free. Both competitors are in the same boat and it would take no time for Labazas to do a lot better than them. You too could be our next winner. Go to rankingacademy.co.uk slash audit and register for our next draw. If you win, you will receive a fully detailed audit result along with recommendations, which should help you boost your business online. What are you waiting for?